What's up randoms? In this video, you will learn how to unlock all crystal camos in COD Mobile. Here's the comment of the day. Remember randoms, one good deed a day makes the world a better place. You can start by tapping the like, subscribe button, hit that bell icon to turn on all notifications so you don't miss any new video, random entertainment gaming releases. Let's get random. Without further ado, uh, let's go. In order to start unlocking the Ethel Crystal Camo, first you need to be Undead Siege on Casual, and then you need to be Undead Siege on Hard. Next you want to go to Rich Toffin's Rewards, and then go to Camo Rewards. As you can see right here, I got two of them unlocked, and I have one that has that I started on the progress on this M16. I'm starting with my assault rifles. You can start with whatever. It is wise to start with uh, the ones that have the double arrow. For each for each win, it will be two, so you can complete each camo with in three games instead of six games. So what I'm about to tell you will make this the hard mode so much easier, man. Go to talent. All right. So with your turret weapon, your turret armor, try to get those as high as possible, and also get your advanced tools up. Uh, because whenever you're playing with randoms, you know, not, not everybody know what they're doing, you know, and, you know, with that wrench, it will come in handy. And then also get, get your weapon upgrade. And then according to your, your zombie skills, you know, with the toughness, that's, will go with your health bar. Um, that's up to you. Like, that'll be the, the last one that I would upgrade. Now, after the talent level, what you want to do is hit this loadout button and say like for example i'm doing my assault rifle so i set all my loadouts as assault rifles so that way when we get in the game which i will show you here shortly be ready to go next we're about to get into the five days i show you step by step i have simplified each day to the best of my knowledge so that you have the best chance to not only unlock an ethyl crystal camo you'll be able to win hard mode too if possible Play with teammates that have experience and only take yourself and one other in a helicopter to kill house which is a high loot area filled with zombies time isn't on your side so loot ammo and upgrades quickly if you're working on any ground guns then count your zombie kills for those who don't know that hip firing does more damage than aiming down sight you need to save your bread so don't buy any perks which this one costs 1500 or any turns on day one and if you run out of ammo then use your wrench. Let's move on to day two. Repeat from day one. Except this time you buy a turret and upgrade it when possible. You will see why it's crucial shortly. By adjusting your turrets accordingly to the present moment will help you going into day three moving forward. If you're wanting to work on your loadouts, then purchase them as soon as you can. Don't forget to collect Ether Essence during day one through four. You will need to take the helicopter to the supply drops and get as many upgrade materials as possible. For when you teleport back, hurry up and set up your turrets. Now it's important to upgrade for your survival. If you haven't got your zombie kills for one or two guns, then that's okay because your milk and cookies are coming in day four. Gather your teammates and move quick, fast, and in a hurry to your side mission. This is one of the best opportunities to complete your gun kills. If your mission is at the bus station, the crystal will be located underground and don't forget to activate any side mission. After slapping the zombies and completing the mission, collect upgrade materials and ammo to set up your turns to the max. Sharing is caring, so put any extra materials into the warehouse for teammates. Keep moving your turns around to help maximize your survival. Switch loadouts upon completion because you have another side of mission in day five. Repeat day four, except your side mission is a butcher. This is the last and final chance to grind camos. But wait, there's more. You have to win in order for your progress to count. Don't worry, I got you covered. What I'm about to show you is my strategy to maximize survival. While your teammates are doing whatever, after completing the side mission, and collect the materials and ammo then immediately head back to the control center to set up your turns and upgrade to the max which is purple set up your turns around the control center and prepare for battle if you have the right teammates and follow my guide then the control center won't get touched 
you will win Undead Siege on hard mode and you will get at least two guns or more completed a game. Apply what you have learned today in each game and you will unlock all crystal camo in no time. Don't forget to hit that like button. Here's more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Live in harmony, stay blessed.